Thank you for joining this latest video weather briefing. This video will cover the expected rain, snow, and high winds with our next storm system from February 27th through March 1st. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist here at the National Weather Service. Here's a summary of the highlights of the weather that we are expecting. Showers will begin as early as Friday night. Precipitation will be most widespread Saturday afternoon through Sunday morning. We also anticipate isolated thunderstorms, mainly Saturday night through Sunday, when the coldest part of the storm arrives. Look for winds to be increasing as early as Friday afternoon and increasing through Friday evening. It will remain windy right through Saturday. Strong gusty winds Friday night through early Sunday morning for the mountains, especially desert slopes and all the highway passes. Wind gusts of 50 to 65 miles per hour in those areas. We also expect gusty winds over the coastal waters. Those winds will be strongest on Sunday, where we could see gusts to 25 knots in the small craft advisory range. This storm is expected to deliver snowfall, total snow of 1 to 3 inches between 4 and 5,000 feet. The bigger snowfall amounts of 6 to 10 inches between 6 and 7,000 feet. And even higher amounts for our mountain ranges that go between 7 and 8,000 feet. Looks for those snow levels to start around 7,000 feet and then lower to about 5,000 feet on Saturday as the storm approaches and as the storm is moving through on Sunday they'll be at their lowest point between four and five thousand feet. We do expect some more showers, rain and snow to continue but taper off Monday morning and the outlook calls for another round of lighter rain and snow for Monday night and Tuesday. Here are the expected impacts from the weather over the next several days. So very quiet weather on Thursday. And then on Friday is when we first expect showers to develop Friday night. And of course the winds will be increasing significantly on Friday. So we do expect some impact to develop mainly for Friday night. Now on Saturday, that's when we expect to see the strongest winds occurring across the mountains and desert slopes increasing rain on Saturday as well, which will be locally heavy, even on the coast. The snow levels will lower with snow heavy at times. I also expect windy conditions and some rough seas over the waters on Saturday. We expect conditions similar to Saturday to continue on Sunday. We also expect possible thunderstorms on Sunday. Snow levels will be at their lowest point on Sunday as well. So we expect most of the weekend to be impacted from this storm system. Another impact on Sunday could be hail from thunderstorms that develop and locally heavy rain. And also over the water, uh, we do expect the possibility of water spouts. So the impact is expected to be moderate on Sunday. And for Monday, a few lingering showers in the form of rain and snow, then drying. And our next weather system returns with increasing wind early Tuesday with a chance for rain and snow with that next system on Tuesday. So overall, the weekend is the main impact from this weather. That's when we'll see impact on roads, slippery road conditions from the heavy snow, windy conditions across the mountain passes and along the ridges affecting vehicles going through those passes. And for those mariners, also windy conditions and rough seas increasing on Saturday. So if you have any plans on Saturday and or Sunday, please take note of the expected weather over the weekend. Here's the rainfall precipitation amounts mainly that we are expecting from this storm. Look for rain across most of California, heaviest along the Sierra Nevada and then also in southwest California. We'll take a closer look on the next slide. Here's the precipitation amounts for Southern California. This is rain and snow melted down. So along the coast, anywhere from a half inch to an inch of rainfall. For our mountain regions, generally one to two inches. Our wettest spots, such as Palomar Mountain, are expected to exceed uh, two inches of rainfall. So you can see even the inland valleys across the Inland Empire and the coast, significant 
precipitation with this storm system. A little bit of rain spilling over into our deserts, as shown here in the Coachella Valley and our high deserts. This is for the first storm, and this is the period Friday night through Monday morning. This is the storm track that will bring the weather across our region. High pressure aloft is not left the region, but another storm system will be allowed to go up and over the high pressure ridge, carve across California, and end up moving directly across Southern California, as shown here. That's why we'll get the bulk of the precipitation here in Southern California. Thanks for tuning in. Please check the latest hazards at the link above. Those are watches, advisories, and warnings. Also visit weather.gov San Diego for additional information on your phone, mobileweather.gov. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for tuning in to this video briefing.